This question has a 50 newton force that is north, 40 degrees west. So I'm just sketching here. Say this is approximately 40 degrees with a magnitude of 50 newtons. So we can represent this force as a vector. It has a direction, 40 degrees towards the west, and a magnitude of 50 newtons. We can draw the next force. I should make some more space to draw the next force. And to add these forces, we need to add them or draw them tip to tail. We'll draw another compass. In order to place the next vector at the tip of our first vector at this arrow point. The second vector has a magnitude of 30 newtons and a direction of 10 degrees towards the north from the east. So you can see we have a bit of a triangle starting to form. We have the magnitude of the second vector and our resultant would form somewhat like this. Maybe I haven't drawn it perfectly to scale. If I haven't, this might be left of north, but we'll see. In order to find this resultant, we can use sine law, where we have r over the sine of the opposite angle r in the triangle, so the opposite angle r is this whole angle, equals any of the other two side lengths over their opposite angles. So we can see this 30 newton magnitude as a length is opposite from the 40 degree angle. And so we could set that up. It should work. So to get our angle R, let's think about what this angle is in here. The two west-east axes are parallel. Maybe you could also see that these angles are equivalent. Between the north and the west we know is 90 degrees, so this would leave us with a 60 degree angle in here, and this would be 60 in here. So our angle, big R, is 60 plus 10, so 70 degrees for big R, and so we can solve and rearrange, multiply sine of R up to the top beside 30 up here, and we determine that R was 70 degrees, divided by the sine of 40 degrees. This r side length, lowercase r, equals 43.9. And it's a side length on our triangle, which we have as newtons. And so we found this resultant, or side length, we called it little r, because remember, side lengths are typically noted as little r.